Suppose we wanted to know the expected amount of time that a Markov chain would spend in each state. So consider a state such as this, which has the label J, it's the Jth state. And let's say that it has a probability PJJ of remaining in the state and the probability one minus PJJ of leaving the state. Then this duration can be computed by first obtaining the probability, the probability P that the system stays in the state, in the state, for M additional steps. given that it just entered state J. Well, how do we say that? So the, the probability that it uh, stays for one time step is PJJ, but after one time step, the probability is going to be PJJ again because of the Markov property. It has no memory how it got there. So the fact that it, the, the conditionality on entering state J goes away, and so the probability it stays uh, two steps is going to be PJJ squared and so on. And so we're going to have to compute for, if we want to compute the probability of being there for M steps, it's going to be PJJ raised to the power M minus one times one minus PJJ, because it must be there for M steps and then leave at the end of it. So uh, this is a geometrically distributed random variable with the parameter one minus pjj. And from sort of standard probability, we know that the expected value of a, standard, of a geometric random variable is given by one over its parameter. And so the expected value of this is one over one minus pjj. And that is, of course, also therefore the expected value of the residence time in state J. And so this has a property that the larger the value of PJJ is, the larger the value of the self loop, the smaller the value of 1 minus PJJ, and the longer the expected mean residence time. And conversely, if PJJ is very small, you're not going to be here very long, then this value is close to 1, and the mean residence time is going to be uh, very close to just one.